does have Open me first. Oh, do you open the box? Yeah, open that. Where's Bailey gone? Oh, he's over there. So I took her to the vets just as a precaution. I think he's actually sick of making the decisions now. So we're a bit nervous to do it, aren't we? Like TV thing. So upstairs in our bedroom. And so, yeah, she's got a balloon thing out there. Some of you will have probably even heard of it. I'll just quickly show you my like five minute makeup routine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today it's a very, very exciting one for us. We're going to be surprising the kids with a trip to Walt Disney World in Florida. I'm so excited that we can finally tell them, finally tell you guys, even though a few of you guys did guess right when I said we might be going away in May. There was so much to like plan and sort out, but it's a huge one on our bucket list, somewhere we've always wanted to go with the kids, but with three of them, it's it's kind of like been about timing it right and I think it's the perfect time. Fraser's 11, Caleb is 8 and Jackson is 5. There's obviously so much there to do. Star Wars, Marvel, Toy Story, like there's something that all of us are gonna love and from the videos and things that I've seen it just looks so magical and we are super excited. So we've been looking into going but we've actually now been invited to the 50th year anniversary like thing that they're doing over there. It's been 50 years that it's been there so we're going to be making some content for my Instagram and for my TikTok not really YouTube but I think I might just vlog it anyway show you guys what we get up to um, but today we're actually going to be surprising them after school they know they have a surprise they have no idea what it is so we've got a little envelope here which when you open it up it says guess what you are going to Walt Disney World in Florida. So that alone will be really exciting. But then I've got a box, which I'll show you what's inside it. We've also put up some bunting in Caleb's room and we've blown up some balloons and stuff. And then obviously this is the box. And inside, once they've opened the first envelope, then there is a second one, which is actually a letter from the man himself from Mickey Mouse. There's also maps of all the different places that we're going. So we're going to the Animal Kingdom one day, we're going to Epcot, Disney Springs, Magic Kingdom, etc. Got some Mickey ears for them. And then there's also some little soft toys and a golden ticket saying that we are officially going. So the plan is basically to let them come in here, open the box, reveal where we're going and everything and yeah i have no idea what their reaction is going to be like i really don't you guys are going to see it for yourself um and then we can just get excited and plan for the trip and i will definitely be vlogging a bit when i'm there staying in the animal kingdom lodge um and it just i'm so excited but i know a lot of you guys know more about disney than me so if you have any tips of things to take do when we're out there, please, please, please put them in the comments because I'm trying to like get my head around everything that you can do out there. And I know we won't be able to do it all, um, but yeah, I'm just super excited. So anyway, we're gonna pick the boys up from school now and surprise them. Yeah, you can come in. Open me first. How do you Disney no, open this? It's Mickey Mouse. Okay, it. Read it. Yeah, I think I can guess it. Read this. Let's just let's just read it. Guess what? Norris family, you are going to Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Pack your Mickey Mouse ears and get ready for a magical adventure. <gasps> what? Go to Disneyland in America. <gasps> Do you open the box? Yeah, open that. And it's there's not a prank. There's another one to read there. Read that. Open me second. Norris family. Hiya. Gosh, I can't tell you how excited all my pals are and I because we just found out you're coming to visit us at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Now, according to my handy dandy calendar, you're going to be here. Let me check. Oh boy, you're great. 
Uh, you're going to be here on the 28th of May 2022. Talk about some great news, huh? I know Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Pluto, Chip and Dale, Clarabelle, well, everybody, including me of course, just can't wait to see you. You're going to have so much fun on exciting attractions, eating amazing food and making lots of friends. Yes sir, there's pra plenty of magic and adventure for you to discover. Sure hope you're ready for it, because we are. See you real soon, your pal Mickey Mouse. <gasps> We're going next week on Saturday! When is it Saturday? Wait, for a whole day! <laughs> no, it's, it's in America! We're going for, for a whole week! What's this? This is so cool! You said that we can write how many days, it's like a whiteboard. Wait, but Mickey not how many days until the Norris family goes. Until we go, yeah, look. How many days? So, eight days? <laughs> or do you guys want to start it? <laughs> say good morning. You say good morning, Jax. Good morning. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. back to my channel and to another vlog. Today I'm actually feeling a little bit rough. I actually went out last night. Sorry. There's a a new dog in our garden. Can you see him? Where's Bailey gone? Oh, he's over there. This is not our dog. Basically. He's next door's dog, but he, he keeps bringing him over, or he just keeps getting in because they've the like become friends. Girlfriend. The boyfriend girlfriend, apparently. Um, and they do, like, it's great. Look, they're playing, they're running around like crazy together. Can but the other it? night, we were watching TV at like 11 o'clock at night, just me and Matt sat on the couch. Next thing you know, Kiki walks in, Bailey walks in, like, that's the dog next door. He just starts eating her food and like chilling out. We were like, oh, like invited your friend around, have you? Um, so yeah, so anyway, it's funny because the other day on Instagram, I was like, should we get another dog? And now it's kind of like, we've got a borrowed one. But anyway, last night I went out with the mums from school and we actually did wine tasting. So it felt very sophisticated. It wasn't like too late either. So I'm not too bad. I haven't got any makeup on yet. Um, but yeah, it was really nice to like get out, do something different. <laughs> Get in on the trampoline. Feel me? Okay, hold on. Wait, bounce as well. Okay, ready, Four. go. Bounce. No, but then the camera will be like. What? Whoa! Woo! Well hey. done. Oh my gosh. Ow. Caleb Dean. The jumping bean. bean. Right, so I'm inside now. I've just curled my hair and I was about to do my makeup, but I thought that maybe I would just quickly show you my like five minute makeup routine. Um, Cause it's been a while since I have shown that. And there's a couple of new products that I'm really liking. I also get quite a few questions about how I curl my hair like this. Um, when I'm in a rush, I use this wand. It's called the Babyliss Pro. Looks like this. The only thing is you do have to like hold your hair on it. And it came with a glove, which I have misplaced now. So I often like burn my fingers, um, but you kind of like get in the hang of doing it. So yeah, I quite like it, it sort of stays all day. Um, and then for my face, I've lately been using this called Light Wonder. I wear it in six medium. It's a Charlotte Tilbury, it's not a foundation, it's almost like a lighter foundation. But anyway, it's for light coverage. So I literally, just with my fingers, put a dab in like the five, five places, like this. I do my forehead. Sorry, Jackson's playing on the floor, like right there. It's really, <laughs> he's playing. What are you playing with, Jax? Fidget. With the fidget toys. Not and then, with the fidget toys. If I'm really in a rush, I'll just use my fingers, but I'm gonna use a flat kabuki brush today and just sort of like blend it all in. Yeah, so that's what it looks like when it's all done. Then if I have any other like red parts of my face that I kind of want to cover more, like often my nose, I actually have a scar on the end of my nose um, and I don't know, makeup comes off it quite quickly. So I'll often then put my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is still my favorite full coverage foundation. I've used it forever. Um, but sometimes I just put a little bit of this like on my nose or any redness really. But today I don't really need it too much. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on here got this little, this came with the Estee Lauder double wear, like, I think this is the brush for it. So I'm gonna put it on with that. 
I also finally found a concealer that I'm really liking. The one that I used to use, which was a clearance one, it's been discontinued and I was like devastated about it. I tried a Too Faced one, which was okay, um, but it kept like coming off. So anyway, I'm really liking this one. It's from Lancome and it's called Tint Idol Ultra Wear. Looks like this. I wear it in 250, um, but I just really like the way that it goes on. I'll show you guys what it's like. Um, and it just blends in really well. It sort of stays put. Oh, I probably did too much then, uh, but I normally just put it there. Sometimes there. And then on the back of this brush, there's this really handy little um, dabber thing. I'm so good with the lingo. Then I can use the other end to kind of like get really into this corner. Um, yeah, brighter. And if I ever want it to be even brighter or if I'm going out and I want to have like a bit more contouring, I've been using this banana low lighter from Rodeal. I love it. It's very like a matte finish. Um, so it kind of gives like a highlighting effect without highlighting if that makes any sense i probably i probably wouldn't normally do it on like a normal makeup day but sometimes i just put it into there and it's really brightening um and i've seen loads of like amazing makeup artists like use this to like contour your face i'm not very good at all that i feel like i do my blush wrong actually but i'll show you how i do it so yeah so sometimes i'll just do that i don't know if you can see how like woo it like really brightens up yeah, so that is pretty much the base then for bronzer. I use my good old Benefit Hoola. I've used this for over 20 years. <laughs> I still use it. It's just, it's just easy. It's matte, so I like it. This one is a slightly darker one. This is the caramel color, but I normally do like the three and then the E. That is all I do. I'm sure I could be doing this like more fancy, but I don't do my neck a bit. My neck's a bit red today. I basically had an allergic reaction to something yesterday. I don't know what, some kind of perfume or something. And then I pretty much always put some kind of pink onto the apples of my cheeks. I just feel like it makes me instantly look a bit healthier. So this is one from Bobbi Brown. The highlighter that was next to it smashed and broke. So I'm just kind of using the pink in this palette. This is called the Bronzing Duo. Um, so do a bit of pink just there. You can always go like that and get the get those apples like that. If I was going on a night out, I probably would highlight as well. I still love my iconic highlighter. You need just the tiniest bit on your cheekbone to really like give you a nice highlight. But today it's just like I'm going to watch the football, so I probably don't need it. I would also probably do eyeshadow if I was going out, but again, I'm not going to bother. I have um, individual fake lashes. Um, put onto my eye. They're called like just eyelash extensions and I've had them for about 10 years. My friend does them and I just really like that I don't ever have to wear mascara. I wake up and I feel like I've got my lashes and like it's just really easy. Um, I find it easier than actually gluing on fake lashes. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to bother with eyeshadow, but I am going to just gel my brows. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I still love it. This is in number three, which is like a dark brown. And then I would just finish it off with some kind of lip gloss. This one is an iconic one, but I have various different ones in various different handbags and stuff. Um, so I've just got this one to hand. So I'm going to put it on. And that is me. All done. So yeah, I'm feeling brighter more alive now, ready to go. So I'm actually gonna go and watch Fraser's football this morning. I haven't been for ages and it's a beautiful day. I'm a bit of a fair weather supporter. Um, and so I'm gonna go watch Frey and then Matt is gonna have the two little ones and the dog and then we're gonna like meet back once the game is all done. Um, so yeah, take you with me. Right. Hi guys, so this vlog might be a little bit random. Basically I carried on vlogging yesterday and then when I came to edit, parts of it had no sound for some reason, which is so frustrating. So I was just gonna carry on 
want to show you a few of the things that like the sound didn't pick up like a few interior things so much is changing in the house like it's amazing how quickly it's going now the decorators have been in and they've been painting so I wanted to show you guys that and also get your opinion on something and I also wanted to update you on Kiki if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen that little Kiki last week she basically broke a toenail and it was bleeding and she kept licking it quite a lot um, I didn't think too much of it kind of left it for a day but she carried on like licking it a lot for like a couple of days so I took her to the vets just as a precaution and when we got to the vets they said oh it's because it was kind of like broken halfway down um, the nail and she said that the claw was broken and the only way to fix it was to like take it off but that would be really painful so they would have to sedate her for it so poor little Kiki went from just going as like a little checkup to her then staying there for the day being sedated having her claw removed getting this little pink cast on and like it just it just really escalated quickly um but she had the little bandage on just for two days and she's actually had it removed this morning so you, she's just like chilling out but she's actually fine she's got antibiotics and painkillers um but yeah poor little thing it was actually it was just horrible leaving her there knowing that she was going to be sedated and that we weren't going to be with her but apparently it's very common like it can happen just when you're out and about or even on carpet but I was a bit frustrated because I take her to the groomers every three weeks but the last time I took her as soon as we got home she jumped up on Fraser and he was wearing shorts and he said oh mum her nails are still really sharp and I thought I wonder if they cut her nails and then that happened so I don't know for sure but it was a little bit frustrating so I'm gonna try different groomers <laughs> next time um, but yeah poor little Kiki um, but anyway, let me take you downstairs, show you a few house updates. Right, so it's so nice and bright in the extension now. I'm in what will be a kitchen very soon. The kitchen work is starting mid-June, so not too much longer that we don't have one. As you can see, a coat of paint has gone onto the walls. The ceilings are all done, I believe. And I've just asked Matt to come in here because he is closer to the project. He works with the builders, like talks to them, makes a lot of the decisions. Thanks a lot. Tea. and I think he yeah, makes a lot of the tea and I think he's actually sick of making the decisions now like today it's that stage where it's the exciting bit but also really annoying yeah because <laughs> you're sort of done with making decisions it's like yeah. nice problems to have but I think the doorbell just went it's also um, been it's been non-stop deliveries oh, as well yeah. sorry we were interrupted but as we were saying sick of making decisions can't remember what I said that every decision is really important like when it comes to like the floor the wall colour the Everything is quite big decisions, isn't it? So I'm cutting your head but off. But also in the grand scheme of it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice decisions, but it's just yeah. like when you're in the thick of it and like oh, just done with the dust anything. and you're like, yeah. What do you Can think? Can we dry the trampoline? <laughs> More importantly. Yeah, go get a trampoline towel. There's one by the shoes. Anyway, enough of that. We've got a few questions for you and wanted to show you a few things. So it's a bit difficult to see the patio tiles next to the cement because they're quite a similar color. Um, but we've been trying to choose what grout to have. We've narrowed it down from all of these colors to these two. So I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. Um, just let us know light or dark. So dark is organic earth. Organic earth. And light is gentle dawn mm -hmm. obviously we love that because it matches the tiles mm -hmm. um, and the idea would just look seamless outside like one big tile um, but so many people have said about light grout it's just going to get ruined um, so that's why we thought about something a bit dark it's actually quite greeny this one but it sort of suits well with the tiles if anyone's mm -hmm. got these tiles they're from porcelain superstar and they're superstar Superstore. porcelain <laughs> superstar and they're athena beige um, let us know what colour grout you have or if you have something really similar it's like a real light greyish basically it's a stony mm. beige colour um, we know that the light one would look really nice for the first few months but practically yeah I think I prefer that the light one well I tell you what if we go for that you've got to clean it if we go for that I've got to clean it what do you want to okay, go for? okay okay I'll clean it <laughs> With you, when you're not filming you jet washing I don't mind washing the tiles. <laughs> I don't want to scrub the grout. I know, but it just looks so nice. Okay, well, anyway, let yeah. us know what you think. And next up, we have our fireplace. They've replastered it, and obviously, we've kept it still working and everything, which is great. 
but we were going to paint the bricks but obviously the thing with painting bricks is you can't really take it back <laughs> so we're a bit nervous to do it aren't we mm, controversial um, yeah. um, it's something we've always thought about since we moved in here mm. um, and we do like the look of the brick but then the, the interior we're going for is a little bit more modern yeah um, i mean that, which, that color is really what the house was it might be a before. nice contrast um but at the same time we're thinking painting it white yeah um, but with all of our paint from little green has arrived because obviously they've started decorating and this is the one that we had in mind for the fireplace it's called shirting sorry you can hear the kids on the trampoline <laughs> Screaming. And, just... and the downstairs spare room has been all plastered. It's just like drying out. This is going to be like either a spare room or gym. So we had like a little like TV thing. So explain what I'm trying to say. Sunken. <laughs> it's sunken. It's the, yeah, TV sunken in the wall. Yeah. So So if it's a bedroom or a gym, it'd be a good little place for yeah. it. Yeah. And because it's nice and like because it's quite small, it'll be like flush with the wall so it should look really really cool yeah. um when they put the windows in like in transit one of them cracked a little bit so they're replacing that upstairs in our bedroom there's only one coat of paint left to do they've already done a couple um so yeah this is pretty much done and we're so pleased with it we went for the same color paint that we did in caleb's and fraser's room we went for clock face we're using all little green paint really like their colors um so that is that and then they've also done the walk-in wardrobe we did the walk-in wardrobe white but then the color of the um room on the ceiling because there's no door here so it kind of like flows through and then all the stuff for the bathroom is arriving tomorrow so they can get on with that right so now we're just gonna make a crown for the queen's jubilee at school like they're all making crowns basically and i kind of completely forgot and so many of the shops were sold out of gold card and crowns and everything and then in wilco's i found this crown making set and we have so many other like crafty things that you can add to it so we've got like feathers we've got glitter we've got these little sequins and some glue and like pom-poms and everything so hopefully with all of this stuff we'll be able to make a beautiful crown yeah what do you think Jax? you're a bit tired today Show you Kiki's favourite thing. Yeah! She's got a balloon! Yay! <laughs> Honestly, it keeps her busy for ages. Ah. Ah! <laughs> she wants you now! So it's a bit later on now, it's about nine o'clock. All the kids have gone to bed now, and I'm in Jackson's room and we're gonna spend some time packing for the boys. Normally we'll pack the boys a few days before and then do ourselves like the day before. Um, but I've got so much Disney stuff, so let me show you. Yeah, so we might have gone a little bit overboard, but there was such a good Disney section in Primark. If you ever go, you gotta check it out because they had literally everything. We got Disney swimming shorts, Disney tracksuit for the plane, lots of Disney t-shirts, a co-ord, socks, pajamas. Like I got stuff for myself as well. There was so, so much. Um, so yeah, we're basically gonna plan out each day what the boys are gonna wear. Yeah, we have a schedule of what we're doing. So I think one day we're going to Epcot, one day we're going to the Magical Kingdom, one day we're doing like all the Star Wars stuff, one day we're doing all the Avatar and Pandora stuff. So we're trying to like theme it a little bit. And on one day, we're gonna do this thing called Disney bounding. I had never heard of that before, but it's basically when you dress in normal clothes, like a Disney character. Um, it's like a big thing out there. Some of you will have probably even heard of it. So as a family, we're going to like Disney bound. So we're kind of planning for that outfit as well. We're going as like a group of five. I don't know if I should tell you or just surprise you in another vlog, but maybe you can guess. Um, so yeah, lots to plan out. And I basically just wanna like 
prep everything now so that when we get there it's literally like so easy and we're like Monday here's what you're wearing like we don't have to even think about it because it's going to be such a full-on busy like holiday um so yeah I'm just gonna leave the vlog here I think because we've got lots to do honestly I wish you could see this room like it is such a mess um but yeah gonna get packing and yeah obviously i'll vlog a bit while i'm there um take you guys with me so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>